Well, hello everyone and welcome to your daily five for June 27th, 2023. I'm Leslie Jufless of Trading Live Online and I love to do these segments a couple of times a month. Um, it's always fun to get in there and uh, kind of delve into some charts. So today what I'm going to be looking at with you is first of all, I'm going to update the um, S&P 500. I'm going to use the SPX chart because I do the S&P quite often on your daily five, but I'm not going to be doing a lot of charts in it today. Just an update of where we are with this pullback and where I think a good buying opportunity might be coming in. But what we're going to focus on today is um, it's kind of a new industry or sector within the real estate industry and that's the build to rent uh, sector and it's really interesting um, I've uh, read some articles on it you might want to look it up but it really makes a lot of sense a lot of big builders that have been in business for many, many years. And now some new companies are buying up a lot of land and they're building new homes to rent rather than to sell. And there's quite a large market for this, uh, which again makes sense because of um, rent prices. I know in my area, I'm outside of the Seattle area and rents are very high. Uh, in this area. And it makes a lot of sense to a lot of especially young professionals. So we're going to take a look at some of the charts uh, today related to that industry. And if you'd like to learn more, literally, <laughs> come visit me at my website, tradingliveonline.com. And here's my email if you'd ever like to drop me an email. So let's start with the SPX today. Um, so the the last time I was on your daily five, which was June 13th of um, this year. So you can look up that episode if you like, but I did cover the S&P 500, the Dow Jones Industrial, uh, NASDAQ, Intel, and the Simple Ford as well on that episode. So feel free to take a look at that uh, for more detailed information on today's update of SPX. The main level uh, on SPX, the S&P 500, is that 4,200 level. I've got a, a support line uh, coming across here that I've extended, and I also extended it back so that uh, we can see just how much trading there has been around that price level of 4,200. And uh, we can go all the way back into 2021, and we can start to see uh, a lot of play around that level. And the market took off after testing it a few times to so the new highs, came back down, in early 2022, testing it uh, back up again after it broke as support, retested as resistance, some play around it up to the trend line, and so on. And then it had spent quite a bit of time this year uh, trading in a range um, just under 4,200. Now on that June 13th episode that I did, I showed a weekly chart of the S&P 500. And that chart really illustrates um, the, uh, the number of times on a weekly chart that that area uh, just went sideways. And so we've had now a breakout to the upside. As you can see, it broke out to the upside. It moved very quickly uh, up to about the 4,500 level uh, on the futures. And that's that was where one of my targets was at the time. I thought it would get up to 4,300, have a pause, and then up to 4,500. Didn't get much of a pause at 4,300. This is what this is what it got. And then right up to about 4,500. So now this 4,200 level, Level. There's a bit of a gap uh, right here in this area, about 4240-ish, 4225-ish here, and of course 4200. So what I'm going to be looking for, I think in the next day or two, we're going to be getting um, a somewhat of a rally back up. I don't 
expected to exceed these highs, but a retracement rally back up, which might provide a nice shorting opportunity if you have a nice pattern or entry for that, and then possibly back down again, forming some type of um, a retracement pattern, such as ABCD type buy pattern, maybe into this gap area or just retesting 4,200. So that's what I'm going to be looking for uh, for the S&P. Now, one thing to notice here uh, also is on the RSI, uh, it did pop above uh, this range here. And the last time we saw it this high uh, was back, put this right on the high here and we can see where it is. Uh, back here in October, November of 2021, and then back here in 2020 as well. So this is pulling uh, pulling back. As long as it's a nice orderly pullback in the RSI, we don't want to see it breaking support areas. Uh, we see a nice buy pattern, then I think that uh, will give us a nice retracement back up as well. Uh, the overall ETF X LRE for the real estate market is the symbol that I'm looking at here. And this went into, I apologize, it looks like I have the months, but I accidentally cut off the year on that. So where the vertical cursor, uh, cursor is, is uh, January 2022. And here is January 2023, just to give you some reference points and the, and the year. But the uh, Real estate uh, ETF went into a bear market, big swings up, up and down, and uh, made a bottom back in October of 2022, along with our indexes. Uh, it you can see it hasn't been as strong as the indexes, but it appears that uh, there might be some rally coming. Uh, in XLRE, the ETF itself. Uh, we see that uh, after the lows, uh, rally up almost into this little gap area here, and then a retest. So this test here did not exceed these lows. So we've got a couple of support levels to be um, keeping an eye on. But today there was a nice uh, bullish candle to the upside. Again, a bit of a gap uh, right here. If there's enough strength, then that you know should push through, and uh, we'll probably see a retracement level. Let's put a little fib retracement on here. I I would say probably back around to the uh, six one eight, possibly close to the seven eight six level, and this might also form on this. ETF, it may form a sell pattern up into those areas. That'd be an ABCD sell pattern. And we also might be able to see a larger sell pattern also in those same areas using the larger swing. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. But now let's take a look at a couple of individual symbols. Well, this is uh, Zillow. The symbol is just Z for Zillow. And of course, they're the big um, online uh, real estate. They give us all of the um, data on uh, different real estate markets. And it had quite a spectacular fall from 2021 highs. Um, here's January 2022 again and January 2023. But what I noticed about this chart is this looks to be um, a potential basing pattern uh, and sort of a rounding type of a pattern. Um, of course, this 25 level right here is going to be an important support area to watch, but there has been uh, some nice rally and movement bullish uh, levels on the RSI uh, on this symbol. So I think if we break above these highs here, that's right around the 49 to 50 level, then I think uh, we might see a move back up to test around the highs here around this 65 level. So we might want to keep an eye on that. So now let's take a, a look at some of these build to rent companies. 
Uh, as I mentioned, there's a, a lot of developing companies that are in the space of the build uh, for rent, uh, BFR, I think is how they abbreviate it. Um, but uh, some of the information that I was reading is that, that there are some companies um, that you haven't heard of before that are getting into this space in a rather large way. It, it goes, it runs, uh, runs the gamut from anywhere from, you know, small individuals buying plots of land or building a house uh, to rent rather than to sell to some of the largest home builders. So these are just some of the ones that I found. And so I would encourage you to, of course, do your own due diligence uh, with any of these that you're considering. Um, this symbol, AMH, um, they're in 22 states, according to the data that I found. Now, one thing I found that was interesting with this chart, back over here in late 2021, early 2022, when all the market declined, this chart appears um, to me that it did not have as significant of a decline as most uh, individual stocks did. Uh, even XLRE that we uh, just looked at and uh, actually held up fairly fairly well. And now it's held a bottom down here around this 29-ish area. And you can see it was retesting um, these highs that were previous to the March 2020 lows. And uh, then that's where the market, the price level that it broke out from and came up to these new highs. So even back here, uh, this uh, made a topping pattern that I used. It's called a butterfly uh, cell pattern. It's a powerful reversal pattern. Uh, it doesn't always get huge reversals like this, but it certainly has the potential to, which is why I use it. And then this retest up here, this was one of the stronger retests of the high and it made a double top and then this pretty orderly decline and then holding these lows here. So this might be uh, a symbol that you might want to keep an, keep an eye on um, on these pullbacks. The RSI has done uh, pretty well holding, making some support uh, back here, just above the 40-ish level uh, back here. Uh, it's also holding uh, in the 40-ish range. Now, when RSI, I know that the um, the general thought with RSI is that 40 is the bullish zone, but I don't find that to be exactly true with all symbols. I think you have to go in and look at the individual symbols and see where that range is, because it does tend to vary from symbol to symbol. So it's not always exactly 40. Sometimes it can be maybe 37, 36, 38, somewhere in a range. But you, what you do is you look for that range, like right back here. See this range is just below 40 uh, right here. The market started to turn uh, bullish. That was holding at 38. And uh, so you just have to do a little bit of visual inspection on your chart and find out where that range is. But again, that symbol is AMH. So let's look at the next one. But Toll Brothers is the next uh, the next one. Now I, I put this butterfly cell pattern on here to show you what it what it looks like, and there it usually has a, a process to it. And the beginning of the pattern is X. From here to here, you there's no way that you would know that this type of pattern is forming. You would really only be able to know it after this retracement. This retracement holds above here, and then the market starts to ascend. And then once it gets past this X starting point, that's when you can make an assumption that it's a butterfly cell pattern, and then you can do the um, the structure of it. It's really it's not hard. It's not hard to learn, and it's very worthwhile to know this pattern. But it showed you on the first symbol AMH how that double top had formed. And here, conversely, you can see there was just a retracement up very quickly into this gap area, and then the market really fell away. But um, this symbol, TOL, this created this basing pattern here, and it broke out uh, beginning of this year and has been trending higher. So it's now above, it's just testing 
those highs back from 2021. But I would also be watching, this is a trending move to the upside, I'd be watching for some type of a pullback for a buying opportunity on this symbol. Well, another symbol that we're going to look at today is INVH, Invitation Homes. And again, another butterfly sell pattern at the highs, 2021, 2022. And that's sort of uh, an interesting feature of this pattern is that uh, when the markets get ready to top and you'll generally see this pattern forming across many stocks and uh, assets. So again, here, this had a stronger test to the upside than what we just saw in Toll Brothers. Um, however, it hasn't, it's nowhere near the new highs like Toll Brothers was. But I think what is um, interesting on this chart is this support area right here, right around the 28 level. You can see back here, this was back in 2020 after the March 2020 lows and the price, this price area that the market, this market traded around for a very long time, a very uh, long sideways coiling uh, pattern with a breakout to the upside and up to those new highs. So this I think would be the point uh, that traders could use uh, initially for any uh, assessing any risk in this particular symbol. And again, uh, you want to do uh, your own due diligence on the fundamentals uh, and your own analysis on the company. So I'm just drawing this support line and uh, extending it across here. So let's look at one more symbol. Okay, and the last one today, notice the comparison of the different symbols that I'm showing you today uh, in this sector. So uh, TMHC, the symbol. So if we go back to where we looked in other um, data points, the March 2020 lows here, and then here's the level that the market broke above. So I'm just gonna draw another horizontal line across here so we can kind of use this as a comparison for what we've seen uh, with the with the other symbols so when we looked at um, toll brothers and they were just testing they're right up here just have gotten just a little bit above um, the high from 2021 early 2022 but look at this symbol this symbol is showing uh, much more strength uh, and look at the pullback of of this that's fairly shallow pullback compared to the other symbols um, this did form a buy pattern formed an ABCD uh, buy pattern whoops don't have that drawn exactly right but it's not cooperating. Anyway, uh, there it is. And then here is, I think, really the important support level right now. Um, this broke through the 29 level in November of 2022, and this has been trending since. So this is one that you also might want to do some research on and uh, be watching for some type of a pullback here. So that is it for the symbols that I have today for you. So I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing this kind of new, kind of a, reminds me of a gold rush uh, sector. And I hope that you'll get in there and do some research on the symbols and I'll see you on the next Daily Five.